Hey everyone. Uh, let's imagine that I'm new at Galactic Travels and I was just invited to space. Uh, when I launch space, I can see the home screen and I can see what my day will look like. My meetings are on there, uh, my vacation plans as well. And I can also see the teams and projects that I work on. Uh, there's also the blog and uh, events that we can see as well. Let's go to one of the projects and we can immediately see what the project is all about. There's a description of the project as well as the people who are working together on this project. There's code reviews, there's issues, there's repositories as well as checklists. And I know this looks a little bit like it is uh, very developer focused and for this project it is, but it doesn't have to be. The projects are really about bringing people together around a certain project. And for example, the mechanics in Galactic Travels, they also make use of these projects to track regular maintenance as well as repairs to the spacecraft we have. So if you have a spacecraft that has a broken tail light, they'll log an issue there and fix it in that project. Now, I was hired as a developer, so let's look at one of the repositories that we have here. In the repositories, we see the list of commits. Uh, we can look at the branches as well. We can search through our codes. And there's a separate entry for the readme. So if we look at the readme, we can make it very easy to our developers in the team to look at how they can set up their project, how they can set up their local machine and get started immediately working on this thing. Let's look at the files here. And you will get a tree of everything that is in the repository. We can go through the files. We can look at whatever is in there. We can see the code. We can annotate. We can uh, see the entire history of that thing as well. Now, we wouldn't be JetBrains if we wouldn't make it easy to find things that are in there. And we have a go to anything feature that allows you to search in projects true people, uh, true teams that we have there, as well as blog posts, chats, and so on. And if you're in the context of a repository here, you can actually search for files as well. So if we search for cache control, we will find that file and we can navigate there as well. Again, we see the sources here. We can edit them from the browser, we can annotate, and so on. Uh, but what's also really nice here is that people can add comments to it from space. So if someone writes a class and they want to invite people to comment on it, not a formal code review, but just uh, passing around some ideas. They can do so by adding a comment there, and I can also reply from here and add a reply. Now, I'll cover that in a little bit, but keep in mind, everywhere you can write a comment on something is also a, an opportunity to start a very focused chat around a certain topic. So if I would reply here, Christiana would see a chat open around this specific line of code that is in the project. But hey, we've browsed enough of the code. Let's look at uh, some actual issue that we can work on. So we've, we have issues in there. And I think for my first day, implementing HTTP3 seems feasible, right? I mean, it's, it's a small job, so I can do this. So let's go in there, look at the details, and we can see the entire history. Uh, we see that Hadi started it, uh, Hadi then uh, moved it back to in progress and then back to open. So it's really one that I can start working on. So what I will do is uh, self-assign this one to me. Uh, where am I? Yeah, there I am. And set this one to in progress. Now, I can start working on this, but honestly, I have no idea where to start working on the HTTP subsystem of this project. So in every project in space, we have a list of responsibilities. And again, we can find Hadi's alter ego in there, uh, which is not super important. Um, but we have the HTTP stack, which is built or managed by Lucille and Christiana. So we can find the people who own the subsystem in the project. We can even click on them and look at what they are doing. So Lucille, she is on vacation right now, so probably I don't want to disturb her and ask how she, or if she can explain something about the HP stack. Ideally, maybe Christiana could help me. And yes, her agenda is empty, so I can jump to her profile and start chatting with her and say, hey, mind walking me through the HTTP codes. Christiana, on her end, she's using the Space app, which, by the way, works cross-platform, so Windows, Linux, Mac OS X, and there's a mobile version as well. And she will see a new chat appear, and she will see my message there asking to walk me through the HTTP code. And she'll reply and say, sure, let's do so over coffee. And I think, okay, that's fine, okay. <laughs> I'll be there, and I can go on forever, um, but I'll be there. I'll meet her for coffee, but I have no idea where she's located in the office. I really have no idea where, uh, I mean, we're galactic travels, we operate from multiple planets and so on, I have no idea where she's located. Luckily, we also have a plan in there, and if we show the plan from her profile, we see the floor plan of where she is seated, and she's seated in the open space here. Um, 
and I can find her there and walk up to her and uh, yeah, have that coffee and walk through that HTTP stack that we have in the uh, code base. Now let's fast forward a little bit. Uh, we've had that coffee. I have the information about how I can work with this code base and let's start working on this thing. Uh, by the way, you can pin projects to the left sidebar there as well and you can immediately go to repository. We find the URL to clone. You can use any Git client to clone this project and start working on it. But if you're making use of IntelliJ IDEA or any of the other JetBrains IDEs, we have a space integration as well where you can simply see all of the projects that you can clone and start working on. Now, in the interest of the demo, I already cloned this one before. I have a new branch Kotlin conf and I will just start coding. So I'll search for my chat application. There we go and make some changes. I don't think we need default headers. Logging, yeah, who needs logging? <laughs> and I mean, pinging over WebSockets, I mean, everyone is connected all the time. It's probably fine to do it in 10 minutes. So let's do that. And let's commit this code as well. So we can say, whoops. We can say, I fixed the HTTP issue in the chat application. I'm fine with to-dos and code analysis. Let's just commit and push. Right, there we go. Back in space, I can now see that new revisions are available and I can reload and I can immediately see the code that I wrote and I can look at the change set, dive in, see whatever is happening. And I can also see my new branch appear here as well. Now, eventually I would like this change to appear on the master branch that we have. So what I will do is create a merge request. There we go. I'll call this one uh, awesome HTTP, sounds good and I'll assign Christiana to it because she walked me through it and she's probably the best person to evaluate whether that 10 minute WebSocket ping was a good thing or not. Now, a code review is not instantaneous, so I can continue working, do other stuff that I have in there as well. So let's go to the homepage. Meanwhile, Christiana, she gets again a notification. Remember when I told you that uh, a lot of things in space will open a very focused chat with the, per with the people who are involved with something? Well, in this case, the code review is something that Christiana is involved in, so she will see this in the chat. And she can immediately say, okay, I'll look at it and start looking at it. And doing so is, of course, very difficult from a chat because it's, it's very hard to show all of the code in there. So I will go to the code review and see whatever has changed there. And again, here I will say 10 minutes is probably too much. <laughs> Maybe make that two. All right, there we go. And just for sake of the demo, she will also accept this code review and uh, yeah, it's good to go and, and ship. Meanwhile, on my side, I was doing something else in space. And again, that code review received a comment. So in my chat, I get a notification that the code review got a comment that said, okay, we'll look at it. But also the snippets that was commented on is in there and I can immediately reply on this one and actually get a nice thread that I can use to talk about the specific change that we had there. But since the code review was accepted, I will go to the actual code review, merge it, delete the branch that I just created and merge it to master. Awesome. Code is now on master, and if we go to the automa automation tab here, we will see that a build process has kicked off. So we have builds in there, the tests will run, and eventually when these complete, they will all publish some Maven packages to the built-in registry that we have there as well. So currently we support Docker as well as Maven, uh, and NuKit and NPM are coming at a later point in time. Right. Meanwhile, Christiana is thinking, okay, this Martin guy, he's new on the team. There's a couple of other new hires that we have. So maybe we should do a meet and greet with the team and just create a new meeting that we want to plan with everyone who is on the team. So let's call this one team meeting. And you will see that, of course, I can select the date. I can select the time where I want to have this meeting. And I can, of course, also add participants. By default, we will show all of the teams that you are participating in, uh, but we can, of course, also search for people. So if we search for Max, for example, we'll find him there and we can add him to this uh, list of participants. Now, if we add a team, everyone in a team will be immediately added, and everyone who was already added as an individual is just grouped into that team here as well. And when we add the entire team, we will also take into account who is actually available or not. And you can see based on the color whether that time slot is available for everyone on the team or not. So let's have this team meeting maybe during the party later tonight. Seems like a good place to have a team meeting. 
Now, I added the software development team, but you also see that by adding that entire team, the bottom uh, side here has all of the locations there. Again, we operate on multiple planets in galactic travels and have no idea what the office layout looks like and where the meeting rooms are located. And space adds those for me based on uh, availability as well as the location in the office that is near uh, where everyone is located. So I can now book this meeting and we can have a team meeting. Right. Meanwhile, on my side, I feel like I've done so many things. I've done one commit and messed up a lot of codes. Um, I'm done for the day. I'll just see what's new in the company. And I can look at the blog items here and see that we have just opened a new Mars office, which is kind of awesome. Um, those blog posts, by the way, you can target them to the entire company, but very often it may make more sense to target them to a specific team or a specific location. Which means if you have something that you want to share with the marketing team or something that you want to share with the uh, um, with sales team or some software development team that you have, you can target that post to just that team without bothering everyone else in the company. Blog posts can also have uh, events attached to them. So this one has an event attached to it, and I can go to this time travel proof of concept demo that is happening uh, at the end of this year, and I can RSVP from here. And again, we can add comments there as well, and I can say, this looks very nice. And this also, again, will open up a chat with everyone who has previously commented on this one, as well as the original authors of this one. So if we look at Christiana's screen, you will see that the comment that I just added is there in the chats and we can look at the comment that I've just added there. So that's a very quick introduction to space. Um, my day is finished. I think the day was fantastic, and I will just enjoy the fact that I get to work in space. Thanks.